which is now our second last game of the evening. The last best of three. After this, we're going to have the best of five grand final. We have a human mirror to our hands. Which I haven't seen, I think, literally for years. Well, I have, well, that's not true. I've seen it, but I think I have not cast a human mirror in like a year. At DreamHack Global Finals, did we have a human mirror? Oh, wait a minute. Actually, a couple months ago, I cast a human mirror between Chimiko and Sok. And I remember Chimiko was playing something crazy. He was playing like Naga, Zeppelin, Drop Her Ass into Knights on Concealed Hill. Alright. One game I do remember. So our first map here in our unconventional map pool, which I'm always a big fan of, is Rune Mall. And again, again I wonder, is there... Ah, the music was turned off. So, Archmage opening on both sides. This is 99.9% .9 of the time the case in Human Mirror AM just simply... By far the strongest early game hero especially. And you want to carry that momentum from the early game all the way to the late game. On some maps, we see expansion play in Human Mirror. But normally, only when it's really easy to do and very strong. With especially mercenaries. Like we see um, on Echo Isles and Last Refuge. Of course, these are new maps. Players here are not so familiar. And I imagine we probably won't be seeing too much expansion play. Players' forces are under attack. Did Happy drop out? No. We're going to be seeing Happy later. He's already waiting in the grand final for one of these two to face. Alright, both going for the lab creep right away. Five militia and six militia. Blade is creeping this a bit faster, but also sacrificing a bit more lumber. Pretty harassing in the main base, that's pretty normal. Hawk with a very early tower in the main. Seems like neither player is going to be expanding here from the first look. Shall Lightbringer against Aran Spellweaver. Both with Scroll of the Beast, which is not really good. Especially once we have Breakers, this is gonna be pretty useless. Maybe in an early push with a couple of Water Metals and Footies, you can find a good timing to use this item. But uh, perhaps better sold. Very mirrored creep routes, by the way. So it seems like both have studied the map a bit and figured out what the best creep route is. Hawk again with the Militia Call. This is something he's been doing quite a bit of in many different matchups. Starting the tech, using the Militia, getting more experience and getting almost level 3 from it. I don't think it's enough, right? Is it enough? This would be big. Any second now. Oh, doesn't get the deny here. Oh my god, he's missing one experience. One point of experience, Sag. Nice surround by Hawk, but I guess he can't hold it. Tech is coming up on both sides at exactly the same time. Oh, but no Arcane Tower yet for Blade. Hawk just wants one kill. Just one Peasant would be enough for level 3. Oh, and now I can summon the Water Metal in to the base. Ooh, and that's a big problem. Yikes, that hurts a lot. With this now, Hawk is really far ahead. Scroll the beast! This is exactly the moment at which you want to use it. Bonus damage might be enough for the tower cancel. Oh! Scroll the beast makes the difference. But Hawk can still clean up the attack, I think. Not too many footies left here. I mean, Blade can clean up the attack. Archmage could get two kills here. Gets the one. This one's denied, but he gets level 3. Taking out the Watch Elemental over here, I think. And 
and both Archmages quite hurt. Shop is coming up already for Hawk. We're gonna look at the Lumber here shortly. In fact, we can see it already. Lumber for Blade, not looking good. Making a Lumber Mill now. Wait, these two guys are gonna be stuck here. Wait, what? This guy wasn't stuck, but this guy is stuck. That is very confusing. Well, okay. Hawk gonna arrive here on tier 2 in a pretty good position. He's got plenty of lumber. He can easily afford the MK. And double sanctum. Well, maybe he's a bit short on gold, but lumber is not the problem. Which also means that a possible expansion might be playable for Hawk, but probably not for Blade. He went for the Shredder, so actually he's gonna have lots of lumber soon. So this lumber mill a bit of a waste of resources? Kind of. It's not very expensive though. Oh, and Hawk's coming in for the attack again. Oh, he could cancel the tower, perhaps. Oh, but the Water Elemental wasn't actually spawned in, so I think the tower should be fine. But you don't want to lose the Shredder. You really don't want to lose this Shredder, Hawk. Blade, I mean. Oh, the tower! No way. No way. Okay, it finishes. Oof, if this had been cancelled, this would have been painful. Wait, it's still gonna get like, destroyed. Oh, and Blade is over here, busy with the army he was creeping. Painful first game for Blade. Hawk looking stellar here on map one. Getting the MK now in the double sanctum. As is to be expected. But Blade cleans it up again. Lumber upgrade. And tier three, what the hell is this? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blade says... Nuh-uh. I don't want this breaker nonsense. We're gonna go tier 3 and make some knights. Problem when playing no breakers in human mirror is always that you're gonna uh, struggle heavily with sorks. If your opponent has breakers and you don't, you have a very tough time dealing with sorceresses normally. Players forces are under attack. Boots in the could be given over to the MK. I believe definitely should be given over. Like the regen scroll here, Hawk has that ready to heal up nicely here after creeping. The militia again we're helping out with that. The militia creeping has been quite wonderful here for Hawk. camp. A rather big one to attempt. Illusion Scout sees what's going on. Where is... Ah, there we go. Blade ready for the drop. So an item here. And the tome. Avert your eyes, Twitch chat. I know this is torture for you. And the peasant's also gonna get tortured. Oh, great drop. Three peasants caught. It's gonna be... Four peasants going down total, maybe. TP home by Hawk, trying to save the economy. But Blade is buying quite a bit of time with this. And if Hawk wants to deal with this easily, he has to get a workshop. But first he needs a blacksmith. Good thing for Hawk is he still has lots of lumber to invest. Alright, Blade. This is the strat we see a lot when Human Mirror. One guy tries to go tier 3 one base. He buys a Zeppelin, and keeps being annoying, keeps trying to drop. Oh, And Hawk is going tier 3 as well! Hawk champ, you love to see it. And he has a drop again. Hawk definitely getting annoyed by this, I must imagine. There's five peasants going down now total. Lumber is going to be looking rough here soon. But, again, Hawk still has lots of lumber left over. Did he wall himself off here? Maybe. Illusions scouting around. So, we're gonna have knights to counter the breakers. More teams to counter the priests. 
And then it's gonna be about micro- Oh, Archmage! Oh! He gets the catch! Wait a minute, is he just dead? Oh, Hawk! Getting baited by the item! He tried to pick up the item! He got the slippers! But he lost the Archmage! What the hell, GG? What? What was this game? Blade was getting absolutely demolished in the main base that harass. Really hurt his lumber, but then he got a shredder. Goes across the map, a zeppelin, drippity drop. And suddenly the game's over. Great catch, by the way. The fact that he left the item there to use as a bait. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. 1-0 lead for Blade. Seems like Hawk had that one in the bag almost, but Blade says no. Not so quick, mister. And now Hawk's gonna have map choice. Crystals below, full moon, ice forest, or worm spine wood. We still haven't seen full moon today. Two days ago, we saw it a couple of times. Three player map and rather large. But not so far today. We might see it in the grand final. In the grand final, of course, we will see all five maps if we have a five map series. Oh, and guess what? We're seeing it now. Hawk chooses full moon. First time that we see it today. Let's go. MMR wise, by the way, Blade is around 100 ahead of Hawk. It's 2,380 against 2,270. Hawk normally known for being really good in Human Mirror. Johnny Cage, for example, always uh, crowned Hawk as the best human player in Europe and the best human Mirror player as well, I guess. Full Moon is the name of this map. Our second map of the day. Uh, of this series, I mean. Just like Nomad Isles used to be in the past, this is a three-player map with three spawning positions. Meaning, you don't know where your opponent's gonna be. You're gonna have to scout, figure it out, and it's always a bit iffy with a competitive map. Like normally, if you want to scout well and get decent info, necessary info, you kind of really want to know where your opponent spawned. So not having this information is a bit problematic and makes maps also difficult to balance well, to say it nicely. I used to be a big fan of Nomad Isles back in the Dizay. But, uh, yeah, it definitely had some problems. Expansions here are also very hard to take. Remember, they don't know where the opponent has spawned. So, if they don't scout at the beginning, which, though, with the footy, I guess they will. So, uh, expanding, you go pretty far along the edges of the map. So, expanding, for example, here, closer to your opponent, would be suicide, so... I imagine this is going to be one base play once again. Lots of winter maps here, by the way. Full moon, another frosty, frigid fraternity. <laughs> fraternity doesn't make sense, I know, but could come up with anything else with FR. What other words out there with R? Friendship. Fur. Frying pan. Fries. Fridge freezer. I mean, we got that already. French. True. Shout out to Todd, who was in chat earlier. Maybe he has turned off by now and is wondering. What the hell has Remo had to drink today? That he's talking about freezers. I only had apple juice. I said I would go. Apple juice left over here. Frog. True. Frolic. That's a good one. 
Can we find a frog here? I remember there's a crab here somewhere, which seems to be a bit out of place on this map. Just saying. And a stag. You know, before Game of Thrones, I never thought that stags were cool. But, the Baratheons, pretty cool with the stags. What's your guys' favorite noble house in Game of Thrones? For me, it might be the Baratheons. Of course, the Stargs are very cool as well. But I think I like the Baratheons. Wouldn't it be cool to see uh, King Robert during Robert's Rebellion? When he was still young and a Giga Chad and was using his Warhammer and was knocking fools down like uh, there ain't no tomorrow. I liked old guy Lannister. Yeah, true. Attack. Tywin was a bit of a, you know, psychopathic mass murderer, but he was definitely cool and composed and a very effective dude. Dorn also good. Dorn is also a good choice. Yep. I like the Dornish. That duel between Oberyn and the mountain, of course. Legendary. Wait, isn't the... Isn't the... What's it called? Um, God damn it. What's what's the seek, uh, prequel called that they're doing right now for HBO? House of the Dragon or something, right? I wonder how that's gonna be. As we remember, season 8 of Game of Thrones <coughs> didn't end too well. <clears throat> this game might not end too well for Hawk, by the way. His expansion is getting harassed heavily. Uh, I mean, Blade. Sorry, I keep getting them confused. Tower, shop, and expo coming up really early here for Hawk. This power build was immensely slowed down. But at the end, the expansion is still pretty much finished at the same time. Interesting. Blade ready to keep creeping. He's up here on the high ground at the lab. Is he gonna go for Shredder? He's got the resources. Hells yeah. Do Shredders get Frost Armor slowed, by the way? Yes, they do. Bit of footy harass. Lumber economy is very important, and this is where Blade is suffering now. That's why he went for the Shredder, of course, so soon he's gonna have enough Lumber, but Hawk's gonna have a big tech advantage. A big tech advantage. Bracers, good for later. Useless at the moment, though. Good attacks by Hawk. Chipping away at the expansion. Ooh, even the footy survives. And Blade is definitely in trouble this game. On the first map he was already behind. Now again he finds himself behind. We'll see if he can fight his way back from this position once again. Attack has now started. Shredder's gonna go to work. And chop down these trees. As if this was the Amazon forest. And he was looking to get some grassland produced for factory farming. That's right, boys. I hear the news. I know what's going on. Well, sort of. Not really. <laughs> All the news that I know of, I know either from podcasts or Reddit. So, uh, <laughs> I am actually not the most well-informed. Oh, look at that. Beautiful region scroll here. All the footies nicely healing up. We got a blacksmith, and I must say, I am enjoying this human mirror. Not just one base breakers, snooze fest, no, no. We got expansions, we got tier 3. Pretty cool. Archman's gonna get level 4 here in a moment, but Hawk is relentlessly pushing. And getting further and further ahead, I think. Fully still healing in the back. Blade has to keep to try to defend here. Shop cancelled. Towers hardly cancelled. The thing is, with defend also, the footies don't care about towers at all. You can still use them to harass the economy very well. 
Ox lumber is not looking that great, by the way. He's getting the lumber upgrade, but he's lacking, certainly, quite a bit of lumber here to get all the macro rolling. He will need at least one Sanctum. I'd say rather two Sanctums. And when you have two base economy, normally also you want to go tier three. Defend now finished. The footies are stronger here. Hawk getting more and more advantages on map two. Game's, of course, far from over, but I would say Hawk looking to be in a good position. Rushes tier three. Whoa. So he's going to delay the Sanctum by a long time. And the tech for Blade isn't even too far behind. He just revealed the main base, I think, to see the tech. How did he reveal? Ah, with a footy, I guess. Laboratory. As they say in England, laboratory. Oh, he didn't scout the expo? Ah, wait, are you guys sure? I think, though, you know... Like, by now he must know, right, that there's an expansion? Even if he hasn't seen it? Panda second! Oh, Pog Champ. Blade has been a big fan of the panda for a long time. Ever since the buffs, the panda definitely quite a strong hero. And when you play panda, of course you can't go MK because you need the pally third. And attack. having no Stormbolt can be painful at times, but if the panda gets level 5 especially, Breath of Fire damage is just sick. And Hawk keeps pressuring. Once you get value out of the footies, of course they have to fend against the towers, but this is a lot of towers. Maybe Hawk should rather attack into the main base. Ah, oh, but we also got towers there, and we got Griffin Aviaries! Dude, Inhuman Mirror, when they go tier 3, it's such a wonderful matchup. In my opinion, as long as there's tier 3, Human Mirror, definitely by far the best Mirror. Panda, oof! Heal pot transfer, last second save. I think he still dies, though. TP give it over, wow. A lot of resources committed trying to keep the Panda alive. Imagine if he just dies here, this would be kind of sad. Panda seems to be safe. Yeah, uh, as I was saying, tier 3 human mirror, wonderful. I think there should be a rule in every human mirror, you know? We should make, make new rules for human mirror. And the rule is, you are forbidden from playing breakers. <laughs> Everything else is fine, just no breakers. I guess in that case, Sorks would just dominate the game, maybe? Then you play rifles against swords. Then you play footies against rifles. Gets confusing. Double workshop, double griffin aviary. So, obviously, Blade wants to go into griffins. The thing is, griffins also get countered pretty hard by um, dragon hawks. If the opponent goes dragon hawks, so I think he wants to have gyros against possible dragon hawks, or also against enemy griffins. Because guess what? Hawks making griffins. So the question will be, what's going to be better against Griffins, MK or Panda? I think it depends on the levels. I think on level 1 especially, MK should be much better with the Stormbolt. That might change later though. Oh wow, we have Mason we upgrade. I feel like we don't see that at all anymore nowadays. Alright, Panda charged with cleaning up this footy attack. But Hog again seems ahead to me. I mean, at the supply, it's very evident. 65 supply for Hawk! Great game for him. Oh, wait a minute. He's got the Orb of Fire already. Wow. That was super fast. And the Staff. Blade is under lots of pressure here. He needs to get these Griffins out ASAP. And also a Pally. For a second, I was like, oh my god, is this tanks? Tanks in Human Mirror? Craziness. No, no tanks. Not yet. Tanks with Barrage are actually kind of good against Gyros. <laughs> Here come the Griffins. They do a lot of damage to these towers. Oh, baby. And the footies are tanking up, soaking up the damage from the towers. Hawk with a great attack, trying to equalize the series. He's in a wonderful position to do just that. We got so many Griffins here. Truck and Haze is very good against the Griffins. But Hawk just simply has way more, as it seems. Gets to level up now on the Mount King. Play defending with only 53 supply. He's been under pressure. He's been suffering this whole game. And the last tower has been taken out. And I think this is the breaking point. I don't think there's any coming back from this. 
Peasant economy was nicely damaged by Hawk. This is what leads him here to victory. Superior economy, an expansion that was completely untouched for a long time. And I guess we have to wonder, shouldn't it Blade have to expand it down here? Expanding towards the opponent. Very dangerous. And I think here he was heavily punished. Also, always uh, reinforcing with more footies with region scroll and stuff. Hawk did this very nicely. Oof. Holy light. Duh. Some griffins still going down. Level 5 Archmage. Okay, these water elementals are no joke. They do 100 damage against griffins, more or less. With every attack. But Hawk TP is out, doesn't want to overextend. He knows he's far ahead. Getting more staffs now. Healing up. He's got triple aviary. Is this the human mirror new meta? Just mass griffins? It's pretty sick. I like it. Hawk is heavily relying on this AM level 5 and the water elementals. Keep him in the game. Down by 20 supply. This should be unlosable for Hawk. Getting stronger hero levels now as well. He's about to get level 5 on his own Archmage. With Griffins, you can creep very fast. And there's tons of creeps still on the map. But what about the Gyros? The thing is... Hawk doesn't have a Panda, so he doesn't have a good weapon against Gyros. Can the Gyros be the game winners? Is the question here. Economy in the main base suffering. Hawk is not TPing back. He's trying to go for an attack himself. He's got double heal scroll. Very effective against the gyros. And there's splash damage. Panda's close to level 3. That's going to be a big level up. But he doesn't have much mana at all. But almost no mana. One more griffin sniped. Supply is getting a lot more even though. Hawk still has a lead, but not by much. But the towers, they just melt. Against this magic damage, absolutely no chance. Now we have level 3 water elementals over here as well. Is this a base race? What's going on here? Okay, Hog is trying to go over to the expo. Where we have a tank! LOL. The tank is going to destroy this howl, I think. This should be checkmate. Oh, wait, we have gyros. Going home. Forcing back the griffins. Is he going landmines? No. Imagine, gyro landmines against the tanks, that would be kind of funny. But then Barrage destroys all the gyros. Hawk TP'd home, oh, but he's getting caught again by the gyros! Oh, look at the damage! Dude, that damage is way too sick! And I think that's the main reason for the panda, right? Like, you need the panda to be able to play against this? <laughs> no way, dude! Blade is up by 30 supply suddenly. If he holds the expansion, he wins the game. Oh my god. Gyros. MVP. Winning this game. Maybe. It's not over yet. Oh, this pally is almost level 3. If he kills the water element. Oh, that's level 3. At the perfect moment. Dude, what a sick game by Blade. He was suffering all the time here at the expansion, but in the end... He might still win. Oh, here comes the tank. Hog has to destroy this town hall. And you should be able to. Dyro's just chilling over here. Knight's now being added in as well, but uh, they don't have so easy of a time against Griffins. Expansion here. Still mining. We'd love to see one knight over there harassing. Tanks don't have upgrades, so they don't do that much damage. They're not super tanky, ironically. And Hawk is finding a few pickoffs, though. These mortar teams are, of course, easy to take out. Oh, we got the gyro bombs. Let's go. It takes five years to kill one peasant, but they can damage these buildings fairly well. Oh, staff. 
towards the expo, trying to defend the AM with Watch Elementals. Should be able to do this pretty easy. Dude. How did Blade not die? Isn't that crazy? He's got mass teleport now. He's level 6. That is an insanely strong ultimate. Especially on a big map like this, this might be game winning. By the way, we haven't seen a single breaker this whole series. This is my favorite human mirror series of all time. Oh. Knight died. Mass TP couldn't save him. Dude, the gyros. The gyros won this game. Isn't that sick? He's got barrage! He's got barrage against gyros! Dude, this game is amazing. Dude, I'm telling you. We should just forbid human players from making breakers in Human Mirror. Would just be so much better. By the way, I'm obviously joking, guys. Uh, before someone says, Oh my god, Remo! He's trying for to forbid breakers. I mean... <laughs> it might be better for everyone, though. Maybe. I am enjoying this Human Mirror, man. Super cool games. Very strongly done. Oh! Potion on the ground. And Hawk has to tap out Blade with some sick comebacks, dude. Both maps. Far behind. But just tenacious play. Doesn't give it up. Really nicely done. Blade. With a great performance. Now moves on into the grand final.